We were all put on this planet for a purpose. Blanche, you're here to work in a museum so that art can be appreciated by humanity. Dorothy, you're here as a substitute teacher to educate our youth. And Rose, you're here because the rhythm method was very popular in the 20s. <laughs> The real problem is you, Blanche. You are selfish. Oh, please. Everybody says what a giving person I am. She's talking about when you're in an upright position. <laughs> Mom, I am not playing gin with you anymore. You'll be back. You know why? You're too competitive. It's always been your worst feature. <laughs> Actually, your ears are your worst feature. Do you wonder what Rose is doing right now? You mean you wonder if she's doing it right now? <laughs> No, I just wonder if maybe we didn't push her into something too fast. What I can't understand is how in the world she managed to wait 15 years. How long did you wait after George died? Till the paramedics came. My. <laughs> Come on in, Stanley. We were just talking about you. I thought I felt my ears burning. Maybe that cheap toupee you're wearing retains heat. Your daughter's a fashion model? She's just beautiful, always has been. Gorgeous blonde hair, sparkling blue eyes, a figure men would mortgage a house for. <laughs> we were always so much alike. <laughs> and so close, just like Siamese twins. It's a shame when they separated you, you got both butts. <laughs> She's always been my favorite. I tell you, it sure makes me appreciate the special relationship I have with my daughter. Pussycat. Yes, Ma. Tell your sister for me, I never remember the area code. <laughs> I cannot stand it anymore. You know what I can't stand anymore? That phony accent of yours. What is this, designing women? Dear Rosen Island, your application to start an unauthorized chapter of the Elvis Presley Hunka Hunka Burning Love Fan Club <laughs> in your neighborhood and or trailer park has been accepted. This is the happiest, most fulfilling day of my life, which makes you the most pathetic human being on this planet. <laughs> What's this? I froze my underwear to stay cool. <laughs> I'd lend you a pair, but I knew I'm afraid they'd melt too fast. So you're staying. I should have known you couldn't make it without me. You're right, I can't. And neither can Blanche and neither can Rose. Of course not, Rose. The woman can hardly find her way to work. <laughs> you just listen to what I'm telling you. You live under my roof, you live under my rules. I'll live under this. I hate to see Michael making all the wrong choices. You know what I mean? How could I know? My children made all the right choices. My son was a cross-dresser. My daughter was unmarried and pregnant. <laughs> Hell, I was the Rose Kennedy of Brooklyn. <laughs> and I got my own problem. <laughs> Your own problems? I can't find my lucky handkerchief. Lucky handkerchief? What the hell are you, a minor bird? <laughs> oh, pussycat. Just the person I was looking for. I have a question for you. Strictly hypothetical. Let's say a man wants to take you out on a date. Why is that hypothetical? Check your calendar, pussycat. <laughs> now you can do it. You can get up off that couch. You feel better already. You're not sick anymore, Dorothy. You can heal yourself. Walk, Dorothy, walk. <laughs> Hey, just because you put your makeup on with a butter knife doesn't make you Tammy Baker. <laughs> oh, Blanche, you look beautiful. But do I look like a mother? <laughs> Are you kidding? From the side, you look like you're about to drop twins. <laughs> this nectarine is beautiful. I never saw a more perfect piece of fruit. No? Then try kissing my behind. <laughs> you know, I think you haven't cried because you haven't accepted his death yet. Thank you. I've never been psychoanalyzed by a dipstick before. <laughs> Have a good time? Do I sound like I had a good time? How the hell should I know? You're always like this. <laughs> There'll be other dates, Gloria. Ma, Gloria is my sister. I'm Dorothy. I know. There'll be other dates for Gloria. <laughs> Your daughter is fine, Mrs. Petrillo. 100%? 100%. Tip top? Tip top. Then, Mr. 100% tip top. Why the hell does she feel like hell? It could be functional. Functional? Mental. Mental? Well, let me tell you something, Mr. 100% tip-top mental. My daughter may be no spring chicken, and her jaw might crack when she chews. And she may have noticeable trouble digesting raw vegetables. But one thing she's not is mental. Thanks, Mom.